Today, we'll do a deep dive into the new Enphase IQ 10C battery across 10 categories. Let's get started. Power output, continuous, and search. The Enphase IQ 10C has got continuous output of 7.08 kW. This is a substantial boost over Enphase's earlier batteries. The previous models had just 3.8 kW. Of course, they were smaller. This is plenty for typical household loads, but a bit lower than Tesla, Powerwall 3, and the new point guard. Enphase compensates for this with pretty strong surge output. It can momentarily deliver up to 14.16 kW for a few seconds. 10C supports up to 90 amps locked rotor amps, which means it can start a three to four ton air conditioner. If you're looking at a higher five ton AC, you would require a soft start. Overall, the IQ10C's power output is very robust, great for critical loads, and heavy whole home usage might require more than one unit. Let's look at storage capacity and scalability. The 10C, it provides 10 kilowatt hours of usable capacity per unit. Now, each unit is a self-contained battery plus inverter block. So adding more capacity basically means adding identical units each with its own 7kW inverter. There are no separate expansion-only modules like Tesla Powerwall 3. Capacity increments come with proportional power increments as well. Enphase supports chaining multiple IQ batteries. Systems can be expanded up from 10kWh to 80kWh. That's eight units. It's linear scalability. Two units will give you 20 kilowatt hours of energy. 14 kW of output, 4 units, 40 kWh of energy, and 28 kW of power. One inverter plus battery approach means you gain both output power and capacity increase, which is great for powering more and more loads and heavier loads in your home as you add batteries. The trade-off, of course, is cost. The Enphase IQ10C battery is a strictly AC coupled unit. They do not have any DC PV input on the battery. Instead, Enphase follows a distributed microinverter architecture. Your solar panels would use Enphase IQ series microinverters on the roof, one under each panel on the roof, or it could be using a separate PV inverter if you have a non Enphase system. And the battery directly charges from the AC side. There is no DC charging of the battery. Now, the IQ10C itself contains four IQ8 microinverters internally, which handle the charging, battery management, acting as rectifiers, and discharging, inverting the AC to DC as required within the battery. This means the battery is essentially like an AC appliance on your grid. If you have an existing end phase microinverter, solar array integration is seamless. The battery communicates with the Enphase ecosystem. Every Enphase system has an Envoy IQ combiner, and that coordinates between the battery and the panels. During an outage, the IQ battery's grid forming capability will establish a microgrid. It'll signal to the PV microinverters, continue to produce, everything is good. All this is done thanks to Enphase's proprietary frequency shift power control system. Now, if you have a third-party solar inverter like a solar edge or an SMA, the inverter, the Enphase battery can still work with it and will charge from it. Typically, Enphase's system works best when all generation is Enphase. Let's look at ease of installation. Installing a battery system involves physical mountings, electrical connections, commissioning, software setup. How do they compare when you look at the Enphase IQ10C? Now, the IQ10C weighs a total of 317 pounds, which is a lot, but importantly, it can be split into sub-assemblies for easy installation. The heaviest piece that an installer must lift is 126 pounds. Those are essentially the individual 5 kilowatt hour battery sub-modules, which make up the bigger 10 kW unit. Now, this modular design plus the enclosure means one person can mount the bracket and lift the module sequentially rather than hoisting all 300 pounds at one time. The unit can be wall mounted or floor mounted. 
And electrically, because it's AC coupled, the wiring is very simple to installing, say, an air conditioning unit or a generator. However, NPS systems do require some additional components, namely the IQ meter collar, which is new. The IQ combiner 6C box that includes the envoy for communication and monitoring. That's another component you'll require to install. Next, let's look at backup features and load control. Now, beyond just providing power, these systems differ in how they handle backup switching and managing loads when running on battery. The end phase handles backups through the IQ meter caller and the 6C combiner. This is essentially a smart transfer switch that can isolate from the grid and connects the battery and the solar to the backed up, to the backed up loads in milliseconds. Now, end phase systems can be configured for whole home backup or partial home backup, you know, essential loads. Now, end phase has introduced a feature called load control through their PCS system. It allows certain circuits to be shed during an outage to extend your backup power and it prevents overloads. Now, this can be done by wiring specific loads like the AC unit or the EV charger through end phases controllable relays or through the optional IQ load controller devices, which the system can then turn off when running on a battery. It's not as elaborate as a full-fledged smart panel, but you can, for example, designate two large loads to drop out automatically when backup power shoots on. And Enphase's app and software give you insight into consumption per circuit. You need to have CTs installed, make sure you ask your installer, and the installer can set up essential versus non-essential loads into your design. Now, if you do whole home backup and the draw exceeds what the system can handle, the system has the intelligence to switch off loads, which will prevent that from happening. Next, let's look at software and the ecosystem. The Enphase has the Enphase Enlighten app. This is many generations into development and it provides really granular monitoring of solar as well as storage. And Enphase's strength in managing distributed energy system shows. So the app will show you solar production per panel, It'll show you your battery status, your consumption, grid import, export, month-wise, day-wise, hourly, extremely comprehensive. The Enphase platform is web-enabled and installers often give homeowners full access to advanced views. So the system is really data-rich. You can see historical performance, state of charge graphs, even per panel output over a long period of time. Now for control, Enphase allows settings like self-consumption, savings mode, full backup, or even custom schedules to charge and discharge. You can find all of this. Maintain a minimum reserve for outages, and if you have multiple batteries, the system can seamlessly manage them through a single collective app. Enphase also integrates with certain smart devices. For example, they have an integration with select programmable thermostats, AC controllers, and they do help to manage HVAC loads during peak times. Now, Enphase acquired an EV charging company called Clipper Creek, and they have already started installing these products in the market. They haven't yet fully integrated it, but expect that to happen very soon. And then the EV charger will be folded into the ecosystem, and you'll pretty much have everything in that single Enphase app. Next, let's look at Blackstar capability and generator support. Blackstar refers to the ability of a system to start up and bring solar online from a completely de-energized state. That is, after a full shutdown or complete nighttime outage without grid power, if your battery is at zero, these batteries are able to use solar power, generate, and get back on again. In terms of generator support, Enphase is officially supported and allows a generator to run concurrently with solar and even charge your batteries. This is awesome. They treat the generator just as another controllable source. The system controller in Enphase can send a two-wire start signal to auto start the generator when the battery state of charge is low. In terms of cost, it's fairly new right now, but the estimates I have seen are in the $13,000 to $15,000 fully installed for a 10 kW unit. 
prices are still settling in as I make this video, but I expect it to be slightly higher than a comparable in store from Tesla Powerwall 3. The IQ10C has really stepped up their warranty. 15 years, 6,000 cycles at 60% capacity, that is a lot. If you cycle once a day, that's 16.4 years. So basically they're allowing near daily cycling over 15 years. That's a solid warranty to have. On support, Enphase is really known for excellent support through the installer networks. They also have very strong technical support systems that are consistently on call. With their top tier warranty length, strong support network, easy servicing of parts, this company is likely to give you the best support in the industry. So in conclusion, the Enphase IQ Battery 10C is really suited for those who prioritize modularity, reliability, and smart solar integration. If you have an Enphase microinverter solar system already, the IQ Battery is almost a no-brainer choice. It will meld seamlessly and let you leverage unique features like sunlight-only backup, black start, and it's great for tech enthusiasts who appreciate detailed monitoring and perhaps who want to start with a smaller battery and expand later. I hope you liked this video. And if you're looking for a complete comparison of the Enphase 10C with all the other great batteries available today, you can check out my recent video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you the next time.